Cowan. Thank you. Order. 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 I've called the Honourable John Biscowan. Order. Look, I say to both front benches, enough. The Honourable John Biscowan. Question number six. Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Justice and asks, does the government have any plans to disestablish separate Maori electorates? If not, why not? The Speaker. Honourable Chris Finlayson. On behalf of the Minister of Justice, no, because it's not part of the government's electoral law programme. This government's priority in electoral law has been to put an end to what had become routine abuses of electoral law and public funding by parties whose conduct is repeatedly referred to the police, and to restore freedom of speech by repealing Annette King's Electoral Finance Act. Supplementary. The Honourable John Biscount. Supplementary to the Minister of Justice. Is it the Government's intention to abolish the Maori seats once the historical treaty process has been concluded, as set out in National's 2008 election policy? If so, what progress has been made toward the goal of abolishing the seats. The Honourable Chris On behalf Anderson. of the Minister of Justice, I have already, in the answer to the primary question, outlined what the Government's priorities have been. Uh, there is a constitutional review which has been planned uh, and announced by both the uh, co-leader of the Māori Party, the Minister of Māori Affairs, and the Deputy Prime Minister, uh, and the issues surrounding Māori seats can be addressed in that context. Rahui Katane. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Is it the Minister's opinion that disestablishing the Māori seats will do nothing more than create a wedge between Māori and Pākehā in a time when the country is trying to move towards a united Aotearoa? And if so, why does he think this debate has been brought back into the public arena? The Honourable Chris On behalf of the Minister of Justice, there are a number of interesting questions concerning Māori representation. Uh, the issue of Māori seats in Parliament, as I said in the answer to my second, uh, the second question of Mr Boscawan, that will be the subject of a constitutional review which has been outlined by Dr, Dr. Sharples and Mr English, uh, and those issues can be addressed in that context. The Hon. John Boscawan. Thank you. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister, is it not true that if Māori voters were on the general electoral roll, they would have 70 members of Parliament all working on their behalf, not seven. The Honourable Chris Finlayson. The, on behalf of the Minister of Justice, what the member is trying to do is engage on the questions of Māori representation uh, and the other matters that I've referred to in answers to these questions. They are the subject of, or part of the review, uh, which has been announced by Dr Sharples and Mr English, and the member will have ample opportunity to make all the points he wishes to make to that review at that time. Question number seven, Jacinda Ardern. Thank you, Mr.